In this exciting episode, Conan and the young warriors acquire a new companion with a shocking revelation. I must find my star stone, for I am one of the chosen. What? That's impossible! I'm a common street thief, not a chosen one. In a time when there is great peril in the world, the barbarian Conan is called upon to protect three young warriors whose destiny is to someday rule the land of Hyboria. Each one possesses a star stone, which gives them special powers of the phoenix. Nava, the power over animals. Brynn, the power of illusion. And Dragon, the power of invincible armor. Battling the forces of evil, they are Conan and the Young Warriors. Are we going in the right direction? The ruins are another day from here. Straight ahead! Once I'd like to hear him say, you'll find a hot meal and a warm bed and no danger. Do you hear that? Aye, a battle. There, to the west. girl well did you all just forget about me guess I know the answer to that your horsemanship's outstanding <laughs> who ever heard of a warrior who couldn't ride warrior I am Conan my companions are Dragon Nava and Brynn my name is Tazara why did those Shemites attack you my former guardian is under siege by the Shemites. I'm bringing supplies to him. Well, even a warrior of your skill could use an escort. And we're going as far as Luxor. But that's where Aramis is. Did you say Aramis? We were sent to help him. 
Tassar, if you'll give me use of this steed, I'll ride ahead to Luxor Palace and join the battle, while my three young friends help you get these supplies through. But I'm already so much in your debt. Then... We'll meet at Luxor Palace! Tazara, what are you doing out here all alone? <laughs> I've been on my own my whole life. Aramis took me in when I was a baby, raised me in Luxor Palace. That's where I began my training. I don't think I've ever seen anyone our age with such combat skills. What do you mean? I'm just as skilled as she is. Yeah. Uh, here, grab my hand. Thank you ever so much. You were saying about your skills, Bryn. So, why did you receive so much training, Tassara? It was preparation for my quest. Aramis told me that I was brought to him for safekeeping until I was old enough to pursue my destiny. I must find my star stone, for I am one of the chosen. What? That's impossible! My brothers and I are the only chosen ones I've ever heard of. You have the Star Stones? Yes, in these talismans. They give us each a different magic power. But how can you be certain they're yours? What if one of you got my Star Stone by mistake? There's no mistake, except the one made by your guardian. Tell me how you found them. It doesn't matter how. They belong to us. Well, I'll tell you how I found mine. It's no secret. I was raised by a great military leader in the city of Poitain. Sulanara discovered my presence and attacked the palace. Commander Horus locked me in the storeroom for my own safety. But I couldn't just hide while the battle was going on. I don't know how, but suddenly someone else was in the room. It was a warrior of a kind I'd never seen before. I figured I was done for, so finally I swung my sword blindly. The warrior had vanished as mysteriously as he appeared, and my sword had cracked open the wall. Inside, I found my Starstone Palace. Soon I met Conan and my brother and sister. But how do you know Bryn and Nava are your brother and sister? Because we are. There's no mystery to it. On the contrary, there are a great many mysteries. And I intend to solve them before we reach Luxor. You won't escape us now, barbarian! I didn't escape you last time. It was you who ran away. We'll try running from this! Crom. <laughs> it takes more than a little fire to stop a Sumerian! Yeah! Yeah! told me his story, Bryn. Why don't you tell me yours? She's probably embarrassed because she used to be a thief in Shadazar. Pipe down, you little pipsqueak. Bryn, you're from Shadazar? Yes, I grew up there. That's odd. Why would a chosen one be a common thief in the most dangerous city in the world? I don't think that's so odd. But what if there was a mistake? How could you live with that? I was doing just fine till you came along. I'll tell you how I found mine. That would be nice, Nava. I was raised among the Picts in the Eagle Tribe. Every Pict child must go on a walkabout. It's where we learn to survive on our own in the wilderness. Mine was going perfectly until the storm. It came so, so suddenly. I couldn't find shelter. Then I saw a cave. 
stumbled into a boar's lair. I've been chased by boars before, but I've never seen one as stubborn as this. There was nowhere to hide. I found that the tree was hollow. That's what I saw it. This, this chest. And inside, my star stone. The next morning, my teacher, Brujal, found me. I tried to show him what happened, but the boar's lair was gone. It's almost as if some form of fate led you to that star stone, Nava. Yes, I had the same feeling when I found mine. And you, Bryn? Did you feel that fate was at work when you found your talisman? What does it matter? I found it. That's fate. Remember, Bryn, Epimetria said the hand of fate would reveal itself today. You know, we don't even know who she is. She could be an agent of Sulanara. If I wanted to steal the Star Stone, I'd have done it by now. But I don't need to steal it. I know I'm a Chosen. How do you know? By this. The sign of the phoenix. Luxor Palace. The Shemites are at the gate. Where did you get that amulet, Tassara? My mother gave it to me. Not even Aramis knows I have it. It's proof that I'm the Chosen. It proves nothing. Bryn, there's only one way to know for sure. Tell me your story. Why are you so determined to butt into my personal life? Because you are from Shadazar. And it was in Shadazar that I nearly found my Star Stone. I don't believe you. You're just saying that because you know that's where I'm from. That's possible, of course. But I think you'll believe me after you hear what happened. I learned of an antique shop in Shadazar that sold more than just antiques. I went in with a sword under my cloak, ready to do whatever I had to to get the Star Stone. I was nearly run down by the vendor who seemed to be chasing someone. I heard a commotion from the back, and I went to see what it was. Inside, I found an empty, jeweled chest. Someone had gotten there just before me and taken my star stone. Was that someone you, Bryn? Well, Bryn, was it you who found that star stone? She doesn't want to say, and she doesn't have to. I hope I've been wrong about this. But I'll keep searching for my destiny the rest of my life if I have to. No! You've searched long enough to deserve the truth. As you know, I lived as a thief on the streets of Shadazar. Rogan, who taught me the ways of thievery, sent me to rob an antique shop. The shop was so full, yet it hadn't even been there the week before. I took something, something small, and the vendor saw me. I ran, but he chased me. I, I tried to hide, but the vendor found me. There was only one way out. And then suddenly, he was gone. That's when I found the chest. I'd see more beautiful rings, but I knew I had to have it. When I heard the wind chimes, I fled with the ring. Your ring, Tassara. I'm like a common street thief, not a chosen one. But you're my sister! No, Nava. It was meant for her. But... She's better at everything than I am. I can't even manage the horses. Here. You should. 
shall not breach these doors, Shemite thug! It's about time. You are under arrest! What is the meaning of this? We captured this barbarian outside, Master Aramis. You are Aramis? I am Conan, a brother of the Phoenix. I've come to help you. Tell these fools to drop their spears. <laughs> I need no help from mercenaries like you to the dungeon. What's going on here? Who are you? Goodbye. Bryn! You may not be good with horses, Bryn, but nobody's better with a bow. Won't you help us? I guess we are sort of... sort of a team. I won't let you down. All right. Good. Then let's go! Why in Crom's name did Epimetrius tell me to help that scoundrel? Did you say Epimetrius? I, I did, but then by the sign of the Phoenix, I asked your aid. Who are you? My name is Aramis. But the guardian of this palace is an imposter. He is Pantos, the former head of my palace guard. Thirteen years ago, he imprisoned me and usurped my duties as guardian of the true heir. What true heir? Please, time is short. Release me. I'll explain once we're out of here. Very well, Aramis. Stand clear. Thank you, stranger, thank you. Quickly now, follow me. Even the mighty Luxor Gate cannot stand against that thing. Somehow we must destroy it. Come on! Master Aramis, they'll soon have it within range. Flee while you can! Give up Luxor Palace? Never! Look! Sora, she's returned. Perhaps you're right. Prepare my departure, uh, merely as a contingency, of course. You're not going anywhere but the dungeon, Pantos. Barbarian, how dare you! Aramis. Hold your sword, Captain. This man is the true guardian of Luxor Palace. before it's too late! That I will. Ah! Tessara! Show them your... 
your birthright! All right! No! Your real birthright! The amulet! You mean this? The amulet! You are the true heir to Luxa Palace! We declare our loyalty! We shall serve you always! Tessara, this is your true guardian, my child. Panto sent you on that quest for the Starstone so he could rule Luxa in your absence. This is your true destiny. You are the ruler of the palace and keeper of peace between Luxor and Shem. Bryn, then this is your destiny. And all this belongs to you. Not a bad destiny, after all. Bryn, you're not happy with how things turned out? I'll never know if this ring is truly mine. I'm not a great warrior, just a common street thief. Perhaps a thief, but never common. It's him! The vendor from the shop where I found the ring. What better place to hide a chosen one than the most refined city in the Hyperion Kingdoms? Who are you? me I am what I need to be to help you on your path and bring you are a chosen one the old ghost was right the hand of fate did show itself today convinced print completely then let's move on and find the destiny which awaits us Don't move because you're about to be given the ride of your life as the magic of the sea is brought right into your living room just in time for the heat of summer. Get ready for a Bush Garden Sea World summer celebration next. <laughs>